Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. I hope everyone's having a great day this far and had a good weekend. I want to go ahead and talk about aromatic extraction today. It's something that BRNE has been talking about a lot lately. We've seen a lot of interest from some of our clients regarding aromatic extraction during this odd times, this, this odd time right now. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a research paper that took experimental data using sulfalane as a solvent in aromatic extraction, and we're going to be comparing our Promax's proprietary thermodynamic package to those results. At the end of this, we should see that the paper and Promax's um, output results should match. And we're going to walk through the steps that we're going to take to compare these two results. I'll also link the title of the paper in the comments so y'all can take a look at it. Okay, so from the paper, what the paper did was at a certain temperature and pressure, they took samples of cyclohexane, toluene, and sulfalane with various different compositions again, at a certain temperature and pressure. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the composition of the raffinate that they used and the composition of the extract that that paper used. So as you can see here, the composition here is at the comp is the composition in the research paper. And the composition of the extract is what we found in the research paper. So we're taking their composition, mixing it to stream one, and using this heat exchanger to send our system into the, uh, to the temperature and pressure that the research paper was operating at. That research paper was operating at 303 Kelvin and atmospheric pressure. So I know that was a little quick, but I just to reiterate everything, all, all we're doing here is we're taking the composition of the raffinate and extract that the paper is saying they, they got, mixing that to the temperature and pressure they're telling us, and then letting Promax do the rest. Ideally, if our thermo is correct, what we should see is that the light liquid is going to be the raffinate and the heavy liquid is going to be the extract in the system. So what we want, if our thermo, again, if our thermo is correct, the light liquid should be the exact same composition that the paper is of the raffinate. And the heavy liquid, there should be a direct correlation from the, to the heavy liquid to the extract. So those compositions should match identically. How we compare these to the paper and Promax is using the scenario tool. What the scenario tool is doing is it's taking the experimental data that the paper got and comparing that to Promax's information. So here I have the composition of the raffinate from the paper, composition of the extract, again, from the paper. What the scenario tool is doing is it's taking these compositions sending them to Promax, and then Promax is calculating the raffinate composition and that extract composition. Again, this is going to be in the light liquid and heavy liquid. Ideally, we want there to be a one-to-one -one correlation between the experimental data and Promax's calculated numbers. And that's what I've shown here in this graph. I plotted Promax's numbers against the experimental data. And as you can see, we do follow a one-to-one -one trend really well. This was in a system of cyclohexane, benzene, and sulfalane. And the same was done with cyclohexane, toluene, and sulfalane. As you can see, we follow the trend line really, really well, proving that our thermodynamic package does simulate aromatic extraction using sulfalane 
If you have any questions about what we did, how we came to this conclusion, or you would like help with your aromatic extraction unit, please feel free to give us a call at 979-776-5220.